a DAP and an adoption approach needs to recognize that uh, for users to be effective, the support must transcend the application and follow the user through their task, follow the user through their everyday work. And that's the big difference as, as I work on it between a DAP compared to traditional in-app support. It, it's, it's building up the layers of support. It's moving from, I'm gonna help you with this field, moving up, actually, I'm gonna help you with your organization objectives. Absolutely, and yeah, I do fondly remember Clippy and the, the Wizard and the various other Microsoft tools, and they were always kind of limited because largely they lived in one application, and also they often didn't have the context of the user. They, they always thought you were writing a letter, right? They, you know, it was always the same thing. And actually being able to understand who the user is, what task they're trying to do, what application they're in, and then providing the relevant support rather than the user having to go off and do this URL safari where they're hunting through a knowledge base for information that's relevant for them is, is a hugely powerful thing. At that line at the top as well, more apps equals more value. I think it's, it's an interesting point for the discussion here if we're talking about getting the max out of your DAP that there's a cumulative benefit of deploying a DAP across multiple applications that there's an economy of scale that goes with it that you already have a platform deployed across all your end users so actually adding in multiple applications it's it's not a linear thing right you get that uh, return on investment far easier as you add in more applications would you say that's a fair assessment it is and it 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 helps to take away that that day one fear so you start using a new application, but you can quickly see how does it fit in to my suite. So you quickly gain incremental value from that new application or a rarely used application. Or better still, you can use it to point um, uh, an end user away from what they're doing traditionally and saying, actually, you could be doing this elsewhere or you can get support or help elsewhere. Yeah, and that, that leads us very nicely actually into this this slide. So as we